Hello, amazing, wonderful people. Um, I'm actually doing an intro to a video that has already been taped and I'm editing right now and I realize I never did an intro and it just starts off in a weird space. So I'm doing my intro now and um, I really was not feeling like videotaping this whole last week. I did get some dental work done. I wasn't feeling very good and I didn't want to tape but Eric was kind enough to do some recording for me and to kind of encourage me to tape while we were at Joshua Tree because it was just so beautiful and gorgeous and it would have been a shame not to get any of that on film for you guys. So without further ado, here's our trip to Joshua Tree. I hope you enjoy. Joshua Tree National Park at Hidden Valley Campsite and with a little cold outside so breakfast is happening inside. What do you got for us, Jen Jen? Well, plus it's windy so it's hard to cook in the wind. <laughs> okay. Not plus it's cold. Windy. Like I, I can deal with cold but wind oh, is close. Oh, I see. Out. Yeah. It's, oh, it's something's burning in windy. there. Um, so this is something new that I found. It's called Neat Meat Replacement Mix. It's soy. And I was thinking, even though it's Italian, I've got some of this taco mix. So I was gonna make kind of like, is it called chorizo? Chorizo. Chorizo. You're experimenting? I'm experimenting on you. Ooh. So we're gonna try it. And these are cool because they don't have to be refrigerated or anything. And they're very high in protein. Where'd those come from? These came from um, the 99 cent only store, but you can get them at other places like Whole Foods and at, uh, what's that other place? That we go to sprouts, sprouts. and mothers. Places Where were those like crackers that. that I liked? I, think. Uh, I, just... there, I put them away. Yeah. But uh, yeah, and... These, so we're gonna try this, and we'll let you know. We're gonna like do the eggs and kind of like an omelette thing with this, and nice. we'll see how it comes out. So it looks like plus ninety nine cent store. Oh, Jen got so excited. Find an orange furry pillow. I love that place. She could spend hours in a 99 cent store. I do spend hours in 99 cent stores. <laughs> That's scary. <laughs> hey, I wanted to let you guys know that meat replacement product that I was just talking about looks like this. It's a powdered form when it comes out of the bag. I really thought you just opened it and dumped it into the frying pan or shaped it and you can't do that. But what's really cool is you can change the density of um, the meat substance so if you want to make meatballs you'd actually put less water in it than you would if you're making chorizo or making like fillings for tacos so it's kind of cool still haven't tasted it yet so I'll let you know I don't know if you guys could see that but it's like very I, I like this stuff it's good to have like in your cabinet because it doesn't have to be refrigerated you know we'll see how it tastes though there's the bee the bee and you, but you rhymed it better. So Jen 
just finished making breakfast and show you where we're at. This is uh, Intersection Rock, where rock climbing all began. There's a guy, I don't know if you can see him, way up there. And this big giant boulder, this is all of our campsite, but it's kind of breezy and cold this morning. So I walked here earlier and saw that these big boulders kind of made a cave. So we're gonna have breakfast in the cave. <laughs> That's fun. Yeah. Well, let's see what it looks like. Look yeah, it. totally it's protected from the wind and the yeah, you got a sky view. And, and there's what, breakfast. And that's how that meat, meat turned out. Um, I, I took a bite of it. It's okay, but I could add more like spices mm. and stuff to it. That's all. All right. Bon appetit. So I think this is actually pretty amazing. I was unclear that this is from the powder, and it looks like chopped up meat, and it tastes good. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm kind of surprised. And you said you could mix it with different degrees of water what you wanted it to kind of look like, but for sure, as like a meat additive for sloppy joes or spaghetti sauce or something like this, would be great. Yeah, and I, if I would add hot sauce, I would have added way more spice because trees are supposed to be a little spicy. So breakfast was yummy. We're gonna go out exploring. There's a big loop. Joshua Tree is really a big loop in the, in the national park. So we're gonna stop at a few of the places and just show you some of the more well-known spots. How much do you love that cabinet that I made for you? Are you Tell feeling me. like you need a little praise? Yes. Today? I, this is like my favorite part of this whole van build and it was unplanned. It was just, I like it a lot. there was a little open space back there. Oh, and that table, we've talked about that bamboo folding table. It's Beckworth and Company. It's high and low. Yeah. So you can do coffee table size or um, regular and table I'm size. I'm gonna put a link underneath this video directly um, to Amazon for this table because I've had so many people asking me about it. I'll just have the link up and you can click on it. Like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time, it's clear to see From up here, the world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful, you and me We meant to be Outdoors, forever free. So it's breezy up here. We are at the site of the Ryan Ranch. And before I show you the remains of the ranch, um, I read that Disney animators were brought out to Joshua Tree when they were making the Cars movies. And you can definitely see where they got a lot of their inspiration from. I actually heard that they mimicked for the ride at Disneyland one of these exact formations. But this is the Ryan Ranch, that was their last name. And they were gold miners. The ranch was just for the sheep, or not sheep, for the cows uh, that they had to keep the 60 employees fed and their family. These are adobe bricks made from earth right here in Joshua Tree. Not a whole lot of structures out here in the National Park. This was homesteaded in 1896 for gold and was pretty much shut down by uh, 1908 or 1910 or so. But it's still cool to come up here and see the remains of this old house. It wasn't big. over it. It's still here. There's a lot 
lots of there's actually graves here and you know era this, this is just a piece of tin can that I picked up find lots of that around you find old building materials and nails and stuff uh, just a cool place the Ryan Ranch it's about middle of the loop at Joshua Tree National Park so here we are at Skull Rock I don't know why they call it that you don't see the ice on it? Oh, now I okay. see it. Okay. I would have called that silverback gorilla large forehead rock. Yeah, it huh? does look like ice. Yeah. Ice. Definitely one of the more well known stops here at Joshua Tree. Sometimes you need to go and take a step back. 